Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well guys, this this last week here has been crazy. Crazy. Man, when I told you guys we were pushing that gas pedal down to the floor for this uh, new off-grid home, guys, uh, you know, we're absolutely doing it. Okay, so I had a really busy week at work, guys. Really, really busy at work. Um, but also, we we're really, really busy here with this um, off-grid house. Um, the footings are basically getting put in i mean there's no joking around guys uh, i don't know if you guys remember but we had i had two piles you know two piles of sand and um um gravel <clears throat> the gravel pile is pretty i would say almost halfway gone almost halfway uh, as you guys can see we have a lot of stuff moved around and done uh, so let me just kind of recap here we already have one footing completely done <laughs> Still got to build the sheer wall on top of it, but this um, footing, let me see if I can get the camera to focus here. There we go. So uh, we have one footing done. What we're doing is we're not, we're allowing it to cure. Now, guys, I took some, I tried to take some video but, uh, in between some things, but I'm going to show you guys some other things that we've been doing. And you guys will see that we've been super busy and I did, it's just so hard to document something when you know, there's like, we have, I have a, got, uh, six guys out here, guys, working. Six guys working. And so we're trying to manage everything and it's, it can be hectic. You know what I mean? So, um, bear with me, guys. So yeah, um, this was dug down. So I'm going to back up to kind of give you guys a scale of how big and how heavy duty these footings are being put in. So here is the middle, technically the sheer wall for the middle of the home, underneath my home. <laughs> So I back up here. You guys can kind of see the scale. So every footing is eight foot this way and eight foot that way. Okay. Now, if you guys can see in there, look how deep this is. This is pretty deep, guys. Um, we're going over, to, over. We're making sure we go over twenty-four um, inches deep at least. Now that's a lot of a lot of concrete, guys, and then also twenty-four wide. Uh, so. You know what I mean? That's a lot of material going into this footings, guys. A lot. Um, originally, it was going to be a little bit smaller as far as the diameter and stuff. The, you know, the um, depth and the width and all that. Um, but I said, since we're doing it, I said, you know, it's not going to hurt by going overkill on the footings. You know, because this is the one thing you put it in and you're never going to mess with it again. So as you guys can see, that takes a lot of concrete. And a lot of rebar to fill in this. So basically the same way this one is dug out was the same way that one was dug out. And then the rebar was all set inside. Uh, and then they went ahead and formed everything up. Uh, and then they went ahead and poured all the concrete. We also have supports on every corner wherever we're working. So we have a bottle jack here at the bottom. Then we have our uh, if the camera lighting up here. Let me see this. There we go. So we have a cross beam going across my beam here to support this corner of the home. So that way we can, you know, relieve some of the pressure when we remove the that concrete block out of the way. Right. So um, that's you want to have it secure because if not, it's just it's going to cause trouble down the road. So make sure it's secure. Take the pressure off. Uh, and then that way we can, uh, you know, build, you know, dig out and do this construction here. Uh, and then we then we went ahead and we already let this one cure. So all we're doing is we're letting the pressure back down to land on that corner right there. And then we can start building the sheer wall on this side. You know, it's going to go straight up. It's going to be a sheer wall on this side. So basically this side is, um, you know, as far as the footing is concerned, pretty much done. Um, now we're on this corner over here. We're getting ready to pour this this morning. We have some more rebar we have to finish, but um, we're pretty much ready to do this one. So a concrete pier was moved from there and from there. That's the corner of the home over there. And I had one here for this landing. So we have supports here. We have jacks. Everything to um, take pressure off of this corner. That way we could remove these things and um, get in here and dig. So um, I tell you what, guys. The people that's been working for me has been hustling, man. I mean hustling. When I mean hustling and working hard... Um, there was one night I, I was working really, really late. I didn't get home until about 10 o'clock at night, but my guys stayed out here working guys, digging, putting rebar in, you know, um, trying to get, um, the form squared away for whatever we're doing. They stayed out here until nine 30 at night, guys, all six of them. Wow. 
you know and i made sure i bought them beer and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean you want to keep your workers happy so i've been going through every day i've been buying um you know multiple 12 packs of beer <laughs> so but yeah here's the footing for this corner over here it's going to be a little hard to see there we go so they're getting ready to put their um their their uh the rest of the rebar in here it's almost done but not quite got to put some cross pieces in the corner over there uh and then it's got to be uh i believe that corner right there's got to be moved up a little bit um but yeah it goes all the way this way so eight foot from there to there from there to here and then there's rebar going underneath each one of these um concrete piers itself to lock it all in right so there's a there's a lot of concrete that's going to go in this one so that's the game plan today guys is uh finish up the rebar in this one pour the concrete in and then basically let it sit and then uh they're, they're, i think they're gonna today three guys are gonna come out not six guys uh it is the weekend right so i can understand some guys are gonna take off or whatever um but um this uh in about an hour or so they'll, sh they'll probably show up um we're gonna have three guys so probably maybe um they're gonna work as a team to probably get that all squared away over there as far as the concrete and then they're gonna come over here and start um putting installing their rebar for this one here um that way uh on monday or tuesday uh when they come back um this one's going to be ready to pour concrete in and then that one will be done and then now there's only two more to go guys we have the back corner one back there and that one over there so we've already started to move all the all my junks and all my stuff out of the way right uh so we move trying to move everything out of the way for them to make room so i got my other worker coming today uh so we're gonna have a total of what four or five guys including me so that's probably six guys to, again today but um I'm going to have him come out. I'm going to have, have him help me move everything to the side, help me consolidate everything out of the way. Um, that way, when these guys get ready to start digging the, those corners, you know, there's nothing in their way. So, yeah, doing pretty well, guys. The only problem is now, since everything has been moved pretty much, I don't know where any of my stuff is at. You know, like the small stuff I, I normally use daily, you know, like certain things. I don't know where anything's at. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, right? Because when you need something, you need to get it, you know. But everything's just scattered right now. So, but yeah, man, guys, look, man, we're we are pounding this out, guys, pounding this out, you know. Look at that, very nice. Just gotta finish up the the sheer wall. Um, but before we put the sheer wall completely, like um, we just want to make sure it's one hundred percent cure, you know. So um, this is actually day two of curing. So we're gonna allow it. Um, over the weekend here so saturday and sunday so today is saturday so maybe monday or tuesday uh we should be you know more than good to go and then we can actually build that sheer wall on top of here and this corner is done and then you know it's the same process that whatever we do here we're going to do over here now i want to point out something so i know someone's going to ask this so we have the footing and then we have this little ledger here right with the j bolts going all the way through the concrete locking into the actual rebar cage itself now the reason we do it like this is because that's the that's the width roughly of your two by four right for the bottom of your wall you have a top plate and you have a bottom plate that you know makes your wall and so what's going to happen is you, you know you put tar paper on top of this and then we build the wall on top of there because that two by four is going to lay right down now the reason for this you know hump in the middle that's you know where the two by four is going to go is so that way if it's pouring rain or water gets in um, the water has no place to go but come down the edge and come off this footing instead of sitting underneath the wood and rot, uh, making the wood rot, right? So you don't want your wood to be wet and rot. So what this does is, let me give you guys an example. So when the 2x4 is sitting on top of here, right, and we have these bolts coming through to lock that wall down to this, if it's raining, coming in, coming down the wall or inside whatever, there's there's no real, there's not a lot of surface area here for the water to puddle and stand right so the water has only one choice it has to go around or go down the the edge of it and run off to the edge so that way you're not having a puddle and then your wood's going to rot now if we took this off and just had the j bolt sticking through um you know and you put your your um your your two by, two by four on top of there that could cause issues right because um you have such a wide area for water to puddle and stand and stay around that area you know and so that could make your wood rot you know um but everybody can build theirs you know certain ways and you know